Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rabbit of the Artist. Real quick, so the verdict came back, and I'm in my car. I'm at my girl's martial arts school waiting for him to get out. And I'm going through Twitter, and I see, or X, and I see that Ryan Garcia has been suspended for one year and hit with a return a million dollars back to Golden Boy, and he was fined ten thousand dollars by the commission. That's important because it's ten thousand dollars for the commission, not a fine of a million dollars. He just has to give back the purse. Which is interesting because it would be interesting to know what the New York State Athletic Commission, because they said it came to an agreement. It doesn't say really that that's the penalty that they handed down. That's what they agreed to. That means that Ryan and his lawyers had to get together and get this done, right? So I'm wondering what what made them come to a, a decision, right? Because... And listen, the decision is what it is. I'm not defending. I mean, that's what it is. That's what the side of the penalty was based on all the evidence given. So we got to stand by it. But I would like to know, given the fact that Vada accepted and said that, yeah, it was cross contamination, the hair follicle, and every test leading up to the actual point of the last two tests, everything was, was clean. How did they come to the conclusion of give back the person? And no contest, which is very important. No contest was ruled for with Devin Haney, right? So they got their wish, right? So, but what's going to happen is Devin Haney is going to be, uh, you know, announced as this many wins, no losses, one no contest. So that asterisk will always be there. And everybody's going to always ask if they're new to boxing, what's that no contest? And everybody's going to say, well, it's because one time this guy named Ryan who tested, you know, positive for the PED whooped his ass. And so they, they, they found him, you know, even though, and it's very important because even though you might be innocent of, they still suspend you, right? They still still. So this actually is not a a, a, a guilty verdict per se, but that's why I want to know what the New York State Athletic, Athletic Commission said because they didn't take back Bumgarner's um, win. They didn't take back any of the wins or, or it wasn't a win for Canelo because he was, I think it was before the fight. But it didn't take back any wins for other people that were found guilty to no contests, right? So I'm wondering if there were a little bit emotional on the fact that the way that Ryan handles the media. Um, so I would like to know what they said. But hey, listen, whatever they came to, I just hope that it was a fair decision, right? That it was fair and they had evidence that maybe we weren't privy to. And they probably told Ryan, hey, this is the best outcome. This is what we found, right, outside of what was leaked to the media. And Ryan had to agree to it. Otherwise, you know, I would think that Ryan would take him to court and say, uh -uh, I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm not going to go ahead and, and take that sort of loss for my win. You know, and then, you know, as you see, he posted it took my win away. Well, you knew you knew they were going to take it as you agreed to it. So, you know, going back on social media and crying about it is not really like. Like, what was me? You you had to agree to it. You could have certainly said, let's go to court. I know I, I don't deserve to give back the money I made. I mean, he made Boku money on top of that, right? Because he did the pay-per-view numbers and he did, and, you know, he hit the Vegas lotto with his bet on himself. So, you know, um, so he's really out one two point five million because of the one point five he 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 bet he gave to, to Haney. For the weight and also now giving back his purse of 1.1 so 2.6 million dollars he's out right um and then the you know he has the winnings of his of his bet and also he has the the, the pay-per-view back end so they can't give that back that's just what's contractually there um i'm sure that golden boy can take him to court and say maybe on some premise give me back the pay-per-view revenue since it doesn't belong to you since you came in to cheat right so it'll be interesting to find out um I guess Devin Haney is undefeated again, but we all saw what happened. And I stand by the fact that it had nothing less, not, not much to do with the Osterine and everything to do with the way he was trained. And I will tell you right now, we will see Devin Haney get knocked out again or knocked down or knocked out again um, in the near future because everybody saw just punch over that hand, that bow and arrow effect, and you'll, and you'll catch him. He's already chinny. He's already mentally broken, um, giving, getting a no contest doesn't do anything it wasn't like it wasn't like when margarito put plaster in his gloves right where you go that's why you beat my ass because you had bricks in your hands no that's not the same right 
And I bet you he'll never rematch Ryan after this, even though he said he probably would. So, um, because he'll that'll haunt him. That'll haunt him. Cotto knew why he lost. So going into a rematch really wasn't that scary for him. In this case, it was no bricks in their hands, in his hands. And actually, it was a bad version of Ryan. Slow and, 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 and inactive for most of the fight until he was, you know, catching Haney, which begs to, to the question, why couldn't he capitalize on it? But, hey, it is what it is. He was, you know, he was suspended, gave back the money. So now where do we go from here? We move on and let's see what Haney, if he keeps his promise about being out for two years, seeing as the suspension is only for one. He was hoping for two, but you, you, you're not going to get that. So, and it's also from the point of where he actually uh, got suspended. So that was about a month and a half, two months almost now. So it's 10 months suspension really from the, when the gavel hit and he can't, you know, so technically it's not even a year for him. So it, cause a, a camp will take another three you know, another three months. So he's he's looking at ready to fight pretty, you know, it's within his time scale. So anyway, let me down, let me know in the comment down below. Do you think this was a big enough, you know, suspension, a punishment, so to speak? Um, and again, remember, it's not a punishment because it, you will always, no matter what, if you're proven to have been by mistake, you will always be suspended. So, but let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? We think everybody goes from here. How do you think this looks on Haney's record now? With the one no contest, will it also be on Ryan's? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.